Hey there, Doughboy here, and today on Hardcore Academy we have something special for you. From the creators of Horrible Horror, and by creators I mean me and the psychotic break multiple personalities that this god-awful movie has brought out, comes Stupid Sci-Fi, where I tell you about the worst thing to ever exist. There have been many bad decisions to come out of the Star Wars universe. Everything from bad merchandise, like pulling on C-3PO's scotch tape willy, and sucking on Jar Jar's push-pop tongue, to the numerous shitty Star Wars-inspired games, to the terrible prequel trilogy. But what if I were to tell you that there is something that makes all of those things seem like the best things since sliced bread? Yes, I'm talking about the 1978 Star Wars Holiday Special that was birthed by Satan after dropping nine months worth of acid. The movie starts with Han Solo and Chewbacca running from Imperial Star Destroyers so that they can get back in time for Space Christmas, which is called Life Day. But the Empire wants to rain on everybody's parade with their war on Christmas. I mean Life Day. Will Han Solo and Chewie make it back in time that Chewie can spend his Hanuk I mean Life Day with his family? We'll find out later. Cut to the opening credits. The Star Wars Holiday Special, starring all of your favorite Star Wars characters. Mark Hamill as Luke Skywalker. Carrie Fisher as Princess Leia. Harrison Ford as Han Solo. Peter Mayhew as Chewbacca. And R2-D2 as R2-D2. So, everyone gets credit except for Kenny Baker? Sure. Give credit to everyone except for the little person slaving away in a roasting tin can all day. It's okay, Kenny. You don't want credit for being in this crap fest anyway. Then we are introduced to Chewbacca's family. His wife Mala, his father Itchy, and his son Lumpy. Lumpy? What kind of name is that? After some research, I discover that those are actually nicknames. And their real names are Mala Tobuk, Atta Chitkuk, and Lampa Warump. Still no better. After the opening credits, the movie cuts to Chewie's tree mansion. Damn. Guess he makes a pretty space penny smuggling stuff with Han. Here we see Chewie's family, his Wookiee wife in the kitchen, and his son annoying the hell out of Grandpa. Then Lumpy tries to steal a Wookiee cookie, but Mom catches him and makes him take something outside and... Wait, wait a minute. Don't do it, Lumpy! I know you have a stupid name, your grandpa's a jerk, your dad's off in space war, and your mom won't let you have the cookies, but you have so much to live for! Ah, who am I kidding? After being in a movie like this, I don't blame you. Oh wait, you're just being a dumbass kid. Guess that's why you're named Lumpy. Been dropped on your head one too many times. We're then treated to like five minutes of Wookiee talk where we have no idea what the hell they are saying before we see a very weird hologram Cirque du Soleil performance. What the fuck is this? Is this Star Wars or some kind of weird college expressionist art project? Then we get a few more minutes of nonsensical Wookiee speak before the family calls up Luke and R2-D2 to see if they know where Chewbacca is. And here we see some of the worst acting that Mark Hamill has ever done. And is it just me, or does Luke look kind of like he has too much makeup on or something? I don't know. He doesn't look right. He looks more like a young Betsy Palmer than Luke Skywalker. I half expected Jason Voorhees to burst in looking for his mommy. Then Marla goes back to her old ass computer, complete with built-in keyboard and floppy drive. Jeez. I guess Star Wars does take place a long time ago. Anyway, there she pulls up a trading post camera on the Wookiee planet. Um, don't you mean Kashyyyk? Where the shop owner talks to her about Han and Chewie, but he talks in code because an Imperial soldier is in his shop. Then, after that, Mala turns on Space Martha Stewart, who is cooking Bantha Surprise. Stir, whip, stir, whip, 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 stir. Stir, whip, stir, whip, 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 stir. Why in the holy hell am I watching this? Ugh. Meanwhile, the Empire is still waging war on Crit... Uh, life Day, and Han and Chewie are in trouble. And... back to Chewie's family again. Well, that scene was pointless. The family then get a visitor who has Kwan's... I mean, Life Day presents for them. Lumpy gets a... something. 
Mala gets a boombox or something, and Itchy gets a Demolition Man style mind porno. Wait, what? Yes, the perverted old Wookiee gets a fantasy projected into his mind, and the audience gets an uncomfortable feeling as we see Grandpa try to get some mind projection human on Wookiee nookie. But luckily, it is just a music video with Diane Carroll, and we don't have to see Grandpa wank his old hairy Wookiee willy. Then after more nonsense, some Imperials barge into the house to search for rebel scum to continue their war on Christmas... Life Day. We then discover that Mala's boombox is actually a hologram boombox that plays... Who else but Jefferson Starship? Where the singer is singing into Mace Windu's lightsaber. But due to the crappy 70s TV quality, it looks more like a blurred out something else. If you catch my drift. Then, while the stormtroopers search the house, we see a little Star Wars cartoon and... What the fuck is wrong with Luke's eyes? And... Is that Boba Fett riding a dinosaur that is swimming in a sea of Robitussin? What? And is it just me, or is Chewbacca looking kinda like Cthulhu? Um, okay. After the Empire trashes Lumpy's room, we discover that his Saturn- uh, I mean Life Day present is a mini transmitter translation thing with video instructions that are explained by an android of some sort that malfunctions and starts to spank himself and talk like Satan. Seriously, I couldn't make this shit up. Then later we see a live view of the cantina on Tatooine where B. Arthur is the bartender, and this weird guy starts hitting on her before drinking his drink through a hole on the top of his head and then the Empire sets a curfew for the Tatooine system, so B. Arthur has to shut down the cantina, but not before a terrible-sounding, drunken musical number performed by her and the cantina band. And, hey, I'm pretty sure that alien is too young to be drinking. Back at the Wookiee house, the stormtroopers are all called back, but one stays behind to wait for Chewbacca to return. This stormtrooper then smashes Lumpy's translator thing, because I guess he is a Scrooge and there is a war on Cre Life Day, and the Empire doesn't want anyone having fun. Chewie and Han come home just in time to save Lumpy, and the Stormtrooper takes a tumble through the cheap-ass wooden railing and falls to his death. Lucky him. Some more crap happens, and then the Wookiees have their Life Day celebration where all of them don their red cultist robes and hold candles while walking through space and into a star or something. I, I don't know. Then the movie ends with everyone getting together to celebrate Life Day with a musical number from Princess Leia. Well, actually, there's some clips from the real Star Wars movie, and then Chewie's family pray around the table, but no one cares at the end. The Star Wars Holiday Special is quite possibly the worst thing I have ever witnessed. Seriously, it's bad. It's so bad that George Lucas reportedly said, If I had the time and a sledgehammer, I would track down every copy of that show and smash it. And when Conan O'Brien asked Harrison Ford about his involvement in the special, he denied its very existence. I wanted to ask you for a while and I've always restrained myself. Star Wars, of course, came out in 1977, I believe. Huge international hit, one of the biggest hits of all time. Rocket suit, a superstardom. Uh, and then shortly afterwards, a, a Christmas special came out. It was produced by George Lucas in which all of the uh, participants in Star Wars were, were uh, <laughs> came together and they made this Star Wars Christmas special and the tape's been passed around for years and the rumors that Lucas is trying to suppress it because none of you look happy while you're making this thing. <laughs> and I thought I'd just ask you about it. Do you remember making this Christmas special? I think it was 1978. No, you don't remember it? <laughs> incident. No, 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 no memory of it at all. No, so it no. doesn't exist in your... No, it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. No. The Star Wars Holiday Special is absolutely and completely the worst thing to ever exist. I hate it, and I wish I could wipe it from my memory banks. This has been Doughboy with Hardcore Academy, and have a very merry Christmahana Quanskule. Because whatever holiday you celebrate, we can all agree on one thing. The Star Wars Holiday Special is worse than Dagobah Swamp Butt. Peace out.